The first lecture is the kinematics. Firstly, let me explain the title of the lecture first. So, kinematics means that we study the motion of an object, but we don't consider the mass and the force on the object. Here is the contents of the lecture related to kinematics. There are three very important quantities that you have to understand clearly. The first one is the position vector R. The second one is velocity V. And the next one is acceleration A. When you understand clearly these three quantities, you can analyze different times of motion. For example, uh, straight motion, projectile motion, circular motion, relative motion. In this video, I will introduce uh, something related to position vector. So there are three things that you have to understand in this video is the how to draw a posi position vector. The next one is how to calculate the displacement. The last one is the distance traveled and you have to distinguish clearly the difference between dis displacement and distance traveled so we move to the position vector how to draw a position vector i suppose that i have a system coordinate x y z and i have a particle at the position m here so if I want to draw a position vector, I start from the origin and draw a line to M. And don't forget to draw an arrow. So this one is the position vector of the particle M. In the XYZ system coordinate, we can write by this way. While vector I here is the unit vector along the OX axis, J here is the unit vector along the O Y axis and K here is the unit vector along the O Z axis. When the object moves, the position vector of particle changes with times. In this case, the position vector is a function of time. So you can write it like this, where S depends on time, Y depends on time, and Z depends on time. Now we talk about displacement. I suppose that I have a system coordinate like this. Now, uh, the path like this, and at the initial moment, the particle at position M1, and now we draw the position vector for the particle at the initial moment. After a while, the particle moved to the second position, M2, and now I draw the position vector uh, for the second um, position. So we start from origin and we draw a, a line to M2. So this one is the position vector at the second moment. If we want to calculate the displacement, we have to get the final position vector here minus the initial position vector here so the result is the displacement here I can make a conclusion that the displacement depends on the initial and final positions so from M1 to M2 you have many ways to go but when you calculate the displacement, you just focus on the initial position and final position only. So, at this moment, I will distinguish the displacement and the distance traveled. So, displacement depends on the initial and final positions, but it doesn't depend on the path that the object moves from M1 to M2 but when you calculate the distance traveled you measure the path that the object moves so that will be the distance traveled 
uh, one example like this you start from your house you move to university it's about five kilometers and from university you go by another way to your house it's about 10 kilometers the question how you can collate the, dis the displacement displacement in this case so in this case the, the displacement is zero because the initial position and the final position is at the same point so the initial uh, position vector coincides with the final position vector but when i ask you to calculate the distance traveled you have to measure all the path that you go uh, so it will be 5 plus 10 so finally you have a 15 kilometers so just in one example but you have different solution for different values of course for displacement you have a zero for the distance traveled you have a, a 15 i will introduce some more example here First, we talk about the displacement. Uh, I remind one more time, displacement depends on the initial and the final positions. So if you want to calculate the displacement, you get the final position vector minus the initial position vector. I suppose that I have a four object like this, and uh, I ask you to calculate the position vector for each of them so here is the solution um, now we can calculate the position vector the displacement of object A so the initial position is 0 the final position here is 7 so if you want to calculate the displacement to get the final is 7 minus the initial is 0 so you have a plus 7 middle here and you do the same for object b the initial is 12 the final is 7 so you get 7 minus 12 you have a minus 5 you do the same for object c here object c you don't care about the curve here so you just care about the initial is 2 the final is 10 you get 10 minus 2 you have a plus 8 and you do the same for object D initial is, position is 9 here make a turn here but don't care about it you care you just focus on the final position here is 5 you get 5 minus 9 and you have a minus 4 so you see the displacement it can be negative or positive because uh, displacement depends on initial and final positions but now here one more example for distance traveled i have the same um, four object but now if, if we want to calculate the distance traveled for example object a so you measure from initial measure the path from here to there you measure it and you have a uh, uh, five for object b you measure the path from here to there you have a uh, five here there and for object c you measure the path from here to this point and go back and go back no don't care about the this a bit here a bit here I draw like this so you can see clearly you we go here and go there so don't care about this a little bit here and a little bit here so you have to sum all of them in this case you have uh, 8 from here to there and when it go back here so you have two more and it go back here you have a two more all of them will be 12 meter and you do the same for the last object you stop from here you measure to this point and you measure back to this point don't care about a little bit here i draw like this to make uh, to make you clear that we go back to this one this point so the result it will be six from here to there add two more back to this point so you have eight 
So we can see that the distance traveled is all the way positive. About the uh, position vector, I will stop here. And uh, thank you for listening. The next video, I will talk about the uh, velocity.